thought it was Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin, where are you? All right. Hi, Richard. Good evening. All right. Can you see and hear me clearly? Yeah. Kevin. <laughs> Good evening, Kevin. How are you, Kevin? <laughs> He's shy. No, it's okay. So, Richard, did you eat your dinner? Oh, yeah. Okay, what did you eat for dinner? Oh, I eat meat and cabbage. <coughs> Rice, meat and cabbage? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's great. So, Richard, did you do our homework last time? Oh, yes, yes. All right, so I asked you a question last meeting, right? Do you have a secret? And do you want someone to know about it? All right, I'll share you my screen here. Can you see it? Yeah, okay. All right, so we are now here in um, free talk. So last time I, I gave you this number one as your homework. Do you have a secret? Yeah. Richard. Okay. What is your secret? My secret is that I easily play games on my tablet. Your mom and your dad doesn't know about that? Oh yes. That's your secret. Do you know do you want someone to know about that? No. Because no. Because Why? Because my secret, okay? My secret. Okay. But, you, but you told me your secret. Teacher Michelle knows your secret now. Oh. I knew your secret now. Oh, can you <laughs> wait one Are you okay now? Yeah, okay now. All right, so Richard. So we move on here in number two, right? Okay, I think I think I think it's not really a big secret, right? You said that your secret is that you're playing some you're playing games in your tablet on your tablet, right? Is that your secret? Yes. What else aside from that? Aside from playing tablet. Oh, uh, some something I uh I angry with the Kevin. Something I angry with Kevin. All yeah. right, let's start that. Something I angry with Kevin. All right, can you say, Richard? Can you say sometimes? I was angry at Kevin. Sometimes I was angry. I was I'm angry at Kevin. Okay, why? Why are you angry with Kevin? Oh, because he is displaying the toys in my room. <laughs> He's playing the toys at your room. He's playing. 
He's making yeah. a mess. All right. So now, Richard, how about this one? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about your secret? Your mom and dad doesn't know that you're angry sometimes at Kevin? Can you tell me about that? In All right, so you said, okay, when we say in detail, Richard, it means you're going to tell everything about your secret, okay? All right, how about number three? What does your mother do? What does your mom do, Kevin? What is the job of your mom again? Oh, yeah. Um, what does your mother do? What does your mother do? Wow, yeah. What? All right, what's, what's the job of your mom? She is an? She is an accountant, right? Oh. She's an, can you say, my mother is an accountant? Oh, yeah. Can you oh. say it, Richard? My? My? Mm. Mother? My mother does a, a accountant. My mother All right. Is. Okay, my mother is an accountant. Okay, how about number five? How about your father? What is oh, the job father. of your father? My father is an architect. Wow, an architect and an accountant. So do you think your parents' job influences on you? So Richard, do you also want to become an accountant or do you also want to be an architect something? No, no. You don't like. <laughs> You oh, don't like? This sentence, I don't understand. I can't understand. You what? Oh, I can't understand the, this sentence. It's fine. Right. So, yes, Richard, the meaning. All right, do you want me to translate it for you? All right, I will translate that one, okay? That one recharge. Bạn có nghĩ rằng công việc của bố mẹ ảnh hưởng đến bạn không? Okay, what do you think? Oh no. 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 No, all right. So you want different job when you grow up. You want to become a graphic, I mean a game designer, right? Yeah. Okay. So Richard, let's move on to our dictionary again. Okay? Oh. Dictionary here. We will learn again different dictionaries for today. So we have here number one. Okay, can you read number one? <coughs> Once. once okay once all right i think you are familiar with this verb once right so we have subject and then once two plus infinitive verb and then something all right for example can you read the example i want to go to the movie i want to go to the movie all right so you use here the subject i once and then yeah. infinitive verbs to go and then to the movie all right oh yeah yes okay number two next we have subject plus one somebody oh. to do something oh all right subject. yeah so we have here the subject one somebody to do something all right very good Example. My mother wants me to go to bed before um, uh, um, 11 p.m. All right, so my mother wants me to go to bed before 11 p.m. 
So you have here the subject my and my mother, right? And then once, and then somebody that is you, right? To go to bed. All right. So my mother wants me to go to bed before 11 p.m. Next we have subject plus one something. All right, for example. I want that hat. Okay, very good. I want that hat. So Richard, before we continue this one in number two, we will make an example, okay? So we have number one, you're going to make um this phrase want plus i mean some subject one two plus infinity plus something just like this example and then number two subject plus want somebody to do something like this example and number three subject plus one something all right you're going to make three sentences all right All right, you can make an example now, Richard. Okay. Hello, Richard. What are you doing now? Oh, my TV is playing in my room. Oh, he's playing in your room. Yes. All right, so I want you to make three examples, Kevin, okay? I mean, Richard, number one, about want, okay? So we have what? here an example. This one, you're going to make, this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three, okay? okay? And, oh, write, your, write your answer first, okay? You can write your answer on your notebook and then you can read it. Oh, I, oh, I write uh, my answer in the first place. Mm -hmm, yes, for example, I want to go to the movie. All right, so we have here the subject. We have here the want and then the verb infinitive to go and then something or somewhere that is the movie. I'll give right. you an example. All right, Richard, I will give you more examples and then think of your example also, okay? So we have number one. Oh, we I'm want. My you can write on your paper and then read it later, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, so these are examples, Richard. This is number one, okay? The example of number one. We want to go to the beach. My dad wants me to wash the car. I want the cell phone, okay? So we have here three phrases. We, I use the subject and then want, and then to go, all right? Next, the subject and then the wants, and um, want somebody to do something, all right? My dad wants me to wash the car, and then next, uh, we have here subject and then want something. So we have here the subject I and want and then something that is cell phone. Okay? Yes. All right. Tell me when you're done.
phone is always leaving the You're phone. done, Richard. Oh, no. I need... Okay. Number three. Number three. Uh, mm. Mm. Okay, Richard, let's read your activity, okay? Yes. All right, so can I read it? Wait a moment. Oh my God, it is the, the ninja. What's that? It is my Kevin's ninja. <laughs> what happened? What happened to your ninja? to Ke Kevin's ninja. All right, Kevin, I mean, Richard, let's answer now, okay? Hi, everyone. Hey, go outside, Kevin. Okay. Oh, yeah, he is go outside. All right, Richard, can you read your home, I mean, your activity? Oh, yes. First, I want to buy a new laptop. All right, very good. I want to buy a new laptop. Next. My mom wants me brush the teeth before I go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I want this headphone. All right, I want this headphone. Very good. But here, Richard, you can say this is correct, okay? But Let's just uh, write this one in a more beautiful way, okay? Or a more correct way. My mom wants me to brush my teeth, okay? Or going to sleep. Oh, yeah. Richard, can you read it? Can you read it again? My mom wants me to brush my teeth before going to sleep. Okay, very good. So let's check your um your activity. Okay, so one, two, and three. We have here one. Okay, so good job, Richard. You got three out of three. All right. So now let's move on here to the next. A lesson, I mean, to the next dictionary, okay? Yes. All right, so we have your number two, Richard. Ask somebody to do, all right? Ask somebody to do or to do something, okay? And then, for example, I asked him to leave. I asked him to leave. Very good. Next, allow somebody to infinitive. Verb, oh. all right. My mother allowed me to go to, my mother allowed me to go out with my best friends last night. Mm -hmm. Can you read this word again, Richard? My mother, Can you read the allowed, my mother allowed me to go out with my best friends last night. All right, very good. So how about you, Richard? Can you make an example here? Number two, ask somebody to do. Ask somebody to write an example? Yes, make an example. You can tell oh. me, okay? Oh, I, I want to say it. Okay. All right, you can say it. Oh, yeah. 
All right. For example, I asked Richard to leave. Right? I asked. I mean, I asked Kevin to go out. Done, Richard. Yes. All right. I asked Kevin to go out my room. To go out in my room, right? I yes. asked Kevin to go out in my room. Okay. Or I asked Kevin to leave my room, right? Okay. How about number? allow somebody to do plus infinitive verb all right so for example my mother allowed me to go out with my best friend last night another example my mom allowed me to play video games on my tablet yeah. all right how about you okay how about you richard what is your example Mm -hmm. uh, my example is like this. My mother allowed me to allowed me to <laughs> allowed me to play computer on my tablet. Oh yeah. My mother allowed me to play games in my tablet. All right. So very good. How about Next, Richard, we are done with this lesson, okay? So we will have now a summary, okay? We have a summary. What are the pronunciations that we have learned here in this unit? All right, we don't have pronunciation, okay? How about in vocabulary? What are the vocabularies that you have learned? Oh, it's college, push, push. Researcher and, and relationship. All right, very good. So, how about principal? Principal. Daughter, right? Oh, that's word. Yes, we have principal, classmates. Next. And daughter. Daughter and parents. And parents, very good. So Richard, we are done with U19, Unit 19, Irene's Secret. Secret. Okay. Yes, we are done with that one. So do you have any question? No. No, all right. So we will, are you ready to move on to the next lesson? At the arcade. All right, very good. We have here Unit 20 at the arcade. What oh, do you think, yeah. Richard, is the meaning of arcade? Oh, it's a game on a story. Game on the story? All yeah. right, do you want to, do you want to, to see examples? 
all arcade in Vietnam? This one. Arcade in Vietnam. This one. Right? These are arcades. So this is the place where you can play inside a mall or inside inside yeah. a PlayStation, right? This is a PlayStation. Okay. Oh. Yes, I that is the meaning I of arcade in, in Philippines. Oh, an arcade in Philippines. This is also the same, right? Wow, well, yeah. It's in my country. All right. So now that is the meaning of word. There is example. So Richard, before we read a story, let's have first uh, the vocabularies. All right. So can you read the first word? Oh, uh, yeah. competitive. All right. Can you say competitive? Competitive. All right. Very good. Next. School. All right, we have skill. Okay, next one. Um, um, uh, next. Oh, yeah. Expert. Can you read the one? Expert. Expert. All right, very good. Next. And head. Okay, very good. We have hate. So, competitive skill expert and hate so yes. what do you think is the meaning yes richard what do you think is the meaning of the word competitive richard competitive so look at this picture what do you think is that Richard, what do you think? Yes, look at the picture. What are they doing? Oh, he is uh, a, he is called the um, he is called the money. Is that the money? <laughs> All right, yeah. they're pulling the rope, right? So they are competing with each other. Okay, it means they are. It is used to describe all right it is used to describe a situation in which people or organization compete with each other other All right, that one Richard, when we say competitive, it is used to describe situation in which people or organization competes with each other. For example, this one wants to be the winner, right? They both want to be winner. Okay, yeah. they want to win. All right, they want to win. Okay, how about this one? Skill. Yeah. Skill. Skill. All right. What do you think is the meaning of that? Skill. Skill. It is. All right. Can you read the meaning of this one? It is the ability. Ability. All right. The ability to do something well. Mm hmm. A skill, the ability to do something well. For example, Richard, you are good at drawing. It means that is your skill because you are very good at it. Okay. Yeah. For example, you are you for example, you are good at painting. For example, you are good at swimming. So that is a skill because you are good at it. Okay? Yes. Yeah. 
All right, how about um, expert? Expert. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the meaning of that word? Expert. My mom is expert in cooking. What is that? Richard, my mom is an expert in cooking. Or my mom is expert. You can say my mom is expert in cooking. What is the meaning of expert? Expert. Mm, yes. Um, expert. 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 Oh, my Expert. God. Richard. Richard for... In, in swimming. So you can say, I'm expert in swimming. All right? It means you are very good at it. For example, your mom. Your mom is an accountant, right? So your mom is an expert because she knows a lot. Yes, she knows. Yes, she knows a lot about math or in accounting. Okay. All right. How about this word hate? I think you know the word hate. What do you think is the meaning of the word hate? Mm -hmm. I hate him. What is that? I hate my brother. brother. What do you think is the meaning of that? Hate. Oh, oh. It is to dislike somebody, okay? Somebody or something very much. Richard, can you say the meaning of hate? Mm. Mm. Hate. hate to dislike something. It means you don't like him, or you don't like that person, or you don't like that thing, okay? You can you give me a sentence? Can you give me a sentence using the word hate? Hate, oh yeah. To dislike somebody or something very much. Right. For example, I hate math, right? I hate math. <laughs> I don't like math. Okay. So now it's our time to read the story. Are you ready? Richard, are you ready to read the story? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, so kind of read. Let's listen first, okay? Timothy loves to play let's, games. Uh, and Richard, books. let's oh, listen first. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, oh, what is the audio? Is you cannot hear it? You cannot hear it? Yes. Can you hear the audio? Can you, Can you hear it? it? Can okay, wait, I'm on. Yes, I will show you my screen again. Timothy loved to play games ever since he was young. He was good at almost every single game. He was extremely competitive and hated to lose. He decided to go to the arcade to put his skills to the test. He thought this would be a fun way to use his skills and be rewarded. All right, so let's read. Timothy. Timothy loved to play games ever since so he was young. So he was good at almost every single game. He was extremely competitive and hated to lose. He decided to go to the arcade to the test. He tells you what would be fun way to use this new reward. All right, can I say rewarded? Reward. All right, 
So let's move on to the next story. So who is the character we have? Timothy, okay? All right, we have Timothy. And what do you think he loves to do? He loves to? Play football games. He loves to play games, right? Yeah. All right, very good. So let's move on to the next one. How about you, Richard? Do you love playing games? Yeah. Do you love do you love do you love playing games in arcade? Oh yeah. Are you sure? Are you are you good are you good at playing in arcade? No, so I sometimes play in arcade. Um mm -hmm. I All right. I, Have you tried it? Have you tried to go in arcade? Yeah. Yes. Was it fun? Yeah. Yes. But, <laughs> I like play in the tablet than play in arcade. All right. Oh, you like playing on your tablet rather than in arcade? Because <laughs> in arcade, here I am. I am um, stand to play. Oh yes, you need to stand. But when you play on your in your tablet, you just see it, right? You can yeah. just see it. <laughs> okay. So how about next story? Let's read again. I mean, let's listen first. Oh yeah. He invited all his friends to come since he did not want to go alone. At the arcade, there were all types of games. The games ranged from beginner to expert level. Some of the games required no skills and just pure luck. Timothy wanted to try the games that were not based on luck. All right, so next, Richard. He invited all his friends to come since he did not want to go alone. And the arcade, there were a type of games. The games range from beginner, beginner to expert level. Some of the games required no skill and just poor luck. Timothy wanted to try the game that were not based on luck. All right, so his one, he invited. What does it mean when I say invited, Richard? Oh, invited. Mm -hmm. Oh, in a, in a relationship. Relationship? <laughs> when we say I invited, it means I called, right? It's like you ask your friends to go with you. For example, I invited you to go to my birthday party. You can say it's like I called, right? <laughs> or... I called my friends to go to my birthday party. Okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Next one, Richard. So we have here the fill in the blanks, and we are going to answer this one. Okay? Yeah. All right. So next one. All right, I will read it again. Timothy loved to play games ever since he was young. He was good at almost every single game. He was extremely competitive and hated to lose. He decided to go to the arcade to put his skills to the test. He thought this would be a fun way to use his skills and be rewarded. So what is your answer here? Timothy. Oh, Timothy loved playing games ever time he was young. He was good at almost every single game. He was extremely um competitive. And All right, very good. Competitive. Next. Competitive and he to love. He decided to go to the arcade to put his skill to the test. He told All right. 
be a fun one to interview and be good. And be, and be good, are you sure? And be rewarded. Oh, yeah. All right, Richard, kindly read this word again. We have, what is that word? I'll be started. All right, I want you to practice reading these words, okay? Oh, yeah. Right, decided. Number one, decided. And number two, we have rewarded. Can you say uh, rewarded? Rewarded. Okay, very good. So let's move on to the next one. All right, I will read it again. I want you to listen carefully, okay? So we have here. <gasps> He invited all his friends to come since he didn't want to go alone. At the arcade, there were all types of games. The games ranged from beginner to expert level. Some of the games required no skills and just pure luck. Timothy wanted to try the games that were not based on luck. All right, so Richard, can you read? He invited all friends his friend to come since he did not want to go alone all right That's richard the, can you say richard can you say invited invited okay next invited all his friends to come since he did not want to go alone at the arcade there were a type of games very good the games range from beginner to expert level. Some of the games require no skill and just luck. Uh, Timothy wanted to try games that were not based luck. All right, based on luck. Very good. So, Richard, so I think at the arcade there were all types of games. So there are different types of games, like what is your favorite games in arcade, Richard? Um, what is your the, favorite game in arcade? Oh, it's a super game. Super games? All right, in super. arcade, and you want, oh, shooting? Like this one? You're going to use your gun or toy gun? Yes. <laughs> okay, what I want in arcade is basketball. It's good to shoot the ball, right? Okay. And the dart, right? Dart. Okay, I think you're very good at it. Are you very good at playing in arcades? Yeah. Yes? No? <laughs> All right. So I think, Richard, I will give you this one as your um, homework, okay? Let's read first the word. But Basketball. Basketball. All right, next. Prize. Prize. Very good. Next one. Against. Against. Very good. So, uh, do you play basketball, Richard? Yes. Do you? Are you good at playing basketball? No, I am learning it. Oh, you are still learning it. Okay. How about prize? Do you know the prize? All right. Oh, that is, what do you call this one? This is a trophy, right? Yes. When we say, trophy. yes, when we say prize, it's like your reward. So if you get a high score, you will get a reward. Or if you win, if you win or you won in the game, they will give you a prize, okay? And because of that, teacher will also give you prize. <laughs> Do you want a prize? Yeah. All right, I will give you one and two trophies. Where's your other trophy there? This one. <laughs> These are your prizes, okay? What are these? Oh, it's a trophy. 
It's a trophy. <laughs> it's a trophy. So sometimes they give you trophy or money, okay? All right. So Richard, I, this will be your homework because I think you are sleepy now. <laughs> All right. So this will be your homework. All right, right. Sentence says using the following words. Okay, number one. It's um competitive. Wait a moment, I'll send you your homework. Okay, just let's give me one minute, okay? All right, competitive. Next we have are you sleepy now? Why were you tired? No, 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 no. Why? Why are you sleepy already? Oh, it's a man, it's many. Oh, did my. you did you learn a lot today? Oh no, no. Oh no, no. Yeah. And the last, all right, last one, Richard. Okay. So I want you to make sentences using the following words. Number one, competitive, skill. Expert, hate, basketball, and price. Okay? Yeah. All right. So don't forget your homework. I'll see you on Sunday. All right? Okay. Yeah. All right. So goodbye, Richard. I'll see you next meeting. Bye bye. Have a good night. Goodbye. Are you sleepy now? <laughs> yeah. Goodbye.